Hello and welcome back to episode 29 of this Oxygen Not Included series, Slightly Modded. Uh, for those that are interested in the mods, I have created a mod collection now, my first ever, so hopefully it works. It should, I think. Um, so you'll be able to go to that, click subscribe to all, and basically that will automatically download and install all of the mods for Oxygen Not Included that I am using for this series. There's not loads, but th there's a fair few. Um... So where we left off last episode, there was a bit of dramas over here, uh, and you can see that I've sort of fixed it, but sort of not. There is a lot of heat happening here. Uh, there's a lot of temperature regulations going wrong. Now, what I did, and you can see at the top square there, you can see the thermo actuator is running at 30 degrees, uh, 40 degrees. It's kicking out some heat. Um, but this is overheating so just if I pause this because it is messy but it is working and obviously over here we've now got 4,000 kilograms of refined iron so four tons of refined iron which is more than enough to make the three steam engines finally that we've been trying to make um, so if we actually go into this loop it's a little bit complex and I remember just now as I said it two problems one is I've still not added the mod to make the extended bridges here so I'll do that. Number two is that I talked about it where I installed airlock because one negative to this game is that the airlocks and these jump plates, they are not insulated. So they will always allow the heat to escape like is happening just here, which is wrong because this is all insulated. But for whatever reason, you can't do that. I realized just now when I was sorting out the mods to make the pack that I actually did have them installed like I said so, but I hadn't turned them on. So that is now turned on and we can go over here and look. You can see where well, you've normally got your mechanical airlock and your mechan uh, mechanized, so your electric airlock. You can now see these red variants and these are the insulated versions. So these will be replaced very shortly. In terms of power, is there a power version? Uh, yes, insulated heavy watt and insulated heavy watt joint plate. So there they are. And long insulated heavy watt, that's fancy. Didn't even know that was a part of it. But anyway, so back to this. Um, it looks a little bit complicated, but it's not, I don't think. So we'll start with the actual furnace, the, 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 the thing that's doing the work, the metal refinery. So if you go onto the liquids, um, the metal refinery is pumping out its hot fluid here. And it goes along this pipe up into this room where it goes through this cooler, which d decreases the temperature of the liquid by 10 degrees, across to this sensor. And if the sensor is below 10, or above, I can't remember which, which way around I got this set, yeah, above. If the, if the liquid coming through is above 10 degrees, which means it can't freeze because it drops it 10, it will then go through this one and call it another 10 degrees. If it's above, If it's above, uh, sorry, no, if it's below the 10 degrees, it won't go through this because, of course, each one of these drops it by exactly 10. It doesn't matter what the liquid is, it's always 10. So if it's at 10 degrees and it goes through here, it makes it zero. And if you've got any water in the system, it will freeze and damage everything. So as you can see, I've created a bridge bypass here. So if this turns off, this will turn off this cooler. And the water instead will go up and around and continue. It then goes back into the machine and rinse and repeat. This line of coal that we brought over from here from the very beginning, which is very convoluted because it's using the actual cooling aircon for the base still, but we haven't got around to it. But as you can see, we've got so much liquid in here now. I thought I'd start using it. So it comes along and what it's doing is it comes all, all insulated so that this temperature in the, the minuses that are in the liquid aren't going through my base yet. And then as soon as it gets into this room, it's then using radiant pipes. And the radiant pipes get rid of the heat as quickly as possible. 
So you can see the current room uh, temperature in this room is very cold. Behind that, there are then temp shift plates that are then taking that temperature and spreading it out as much as possible, which is why you can see it's very blue here because these pipes are throwing that heat, uh, that cold into this room and it's being absorbed. Now, these are green, but that's fine because when they're running, they get up to 500 degrees as we found previously. But at the minute, they don't seem to go above 70 degrees. Also, finally, and it may sound complicated, um, and I may do some tutorials on this, though there are a lot already on. But if you can see, there is hydrogen. There is hydrogen in here also. The best gas to use when you're trying to keep things at certain temperatures is hydrogen. It has the best transfer of heat than any other gas. So I dumped a load in there before I sealed it off. I also dumped a load in here to help keep this room at reasonable temperatures but there's still issues so again looking at this you can see that this liquid goes through here and cools it down but what I noticed is as it came out this other side it's still reasonably cool so you can see it's still nine degrees so it's coming in at negative four and it's gaining 15 degrees to cool down this room it then comes out and instead of dumping it straight away as you can see up this pipe here I am then sending it down here and there's a radiant pipe there, one here, one here, and one here. And then there's a couple over here. And the idea is, as it goes by these machines, you can see the temperature of the liquid here is 12 degrees, 23 degrees, 18. It's, it's fluctuating, but it's getting warmer and warmer as it goes along. And then finally, at this rock crusher here is at 22 degrees again. And then it goes up, as you can see, and then it gets dumped. And the idea is that this is hopefully keeping the temperature down in this room now there's a lot of red here and this is running at 71 degrees there is also a patch there that is carbon dioxide at 110 degrees but it, it's better than it was it's a lot less red than it was this liquid is then sent up here and straight up all the way to where we already have it set and it dumps it outside here which we already know that this is a vacuum and it gets deleted it goes into the abyss of space, never to be seen again. Okay, so if we unpause and carry on, we can see that we're getting a lot of heat damage here again uh, because, let's just pause and see, because there's a lot of flickering going on. So iron refined metal is 40 degrees. 40 degrees is not a problem. 40 degrees, 70 degrees, the metal refinery. 73 degrees, the heavy watt wire. So it... 55 degrees the isolated liquid pipe so there is a lot of stuff going on here but what I'm actually going to do is pause one last time and just make sure that we replace these so we want to deconstruct this this door will deconstruct that and this heavy watt thing here as well and deconstruct that very quickly and then we'll go back over to these items and we want the mechanized self-sealing. There it is. So we want that door and then over to the wires and we want these here. And of course, let's just make sure before I unpause that these are a nine because we don't want that heat escaping if we can help it. So now what's going to happen is they're going to get built in. It looks like they're using quite a lot of decent resources, but that's okay for what they are. There we go. And what I'll do is ask, ask them to... Now, this liquid all over the floor means that we've lost the liquid in the cooling system for the... For the um, refinery. So I'm going to deconstruct the refinery. And these are in now. So if we go on temperature, you can see now these are significantly lower in temperature. And they won't allow the temperature to get out. So this room is now kind of a hot box, as they call it. So, with that said, although we do need a refinery in here, but what's going to happen is we're going to allow this continue to do what it's doing. And in doing so, this room will get cooled down. As you can see, it's already throwing out the cold. So this room will eventually be nice and cool so that when I want them to work in here again, they can. 
But in the meantime, we already have 4,000 kilograms of refined metal. So we can fight. Oh, this erupted apparently. Oh, it's erupting. Oh, that lad is going to have a really bad day. The sandstone don't do well in... Um, I don't know if we did this, by the way, but this is actually finished. So you can see this is now a vacuum. So this temperature, which is extreme here, 1,700 degrees. If I do this, this is cold. It's a vacuum. And I created the simple airlock. Now, for those of you that have never used this before, it's a very clever tool um, to allow them, your duplicates, to still they can still go in there because they can fit in the two blocks. So a duplicate will actually walk down here, down the step, in the liquid, out the step. But this liquid, as long as it remains there, is creating a vacuum. So as you can see, there's a vacuum there. There's the base oxygen there. And as long as this liquid doesn't dissipate, you'll be fine. Obviously, the main, the main use of this dissipating is one of twofold. Heat. So it turns, it warms up and turns to steam and boils away, which this isn't going to happen because there's nothing around this that's warm enough. It needs to be over 100 degrees, of course, to turn into steam. And then cold. Uh, a vacuum doesn't have transfer of that. So although the vacuum is showing that it's very cold, and technically it is as a vacuum, but vacuum doesn't transfer temperature. So again, it's not going to cool down. So this temperature here of this liquid will stay around 30 degrees. For the foreseeable, I don't expect to see it change for the game, to be honest. Now we are ready to finally, because plastic, 610 kilos of plastic as well. So that's another problem we've got at the other base. But let's see how far we can get now. So a steam turbine is 200 of that. Right, so I'm seeing that that's reasonably good. We can definitely make three. So one, two, three. So this is three steam turbines. And we are going to need to get this power out of here. So straight away, actually, before I do that, I want to use whatever we've got. You see, this is steel, right? That's 200 degrees. This room's going to get pretty warm. And I don't want to have to keep going in there. That shouldn't be there because we are going to use the power insulated and then plus 50. So we can do that. Now, do we want a door? Just in case. I think so. Simply because we've got doors that are both airlocks and insulated so we've got insulated self sealing airlock that's the one we want so that can go there so as you can see this room still is very much a vacuum um, and what I'm going to do is actually ask them to build this ladder up somewhere like that because we need to build in this room still. So I am going to do it with plumbing. And if we go down to the drain. And then let's make this drain. We can't make it out of steel. So let's make it out of gold. Because YOLO. Um, there. And then insulated pipe. Just to protect everything as best we can. Uh, I don't think we've got anything better than 50. Slow heating 15, that's the best. So out through there straight away and then into this floor. Actually, that's ugly as. No, don't build that. Stop, stop building, please. Thank you. There we go. It's ugly, too ugly. Can't do it. it needs to go in the floor. Okay. So as you can see, we have got. Are we out of resource there? Yeah, okay. So let's deconstruct electric power wires. Yep. Yeah. And just tell it to get rid of all of that. And also cancel all of the wire that's already there. And let's just fix that again. So the idea is this is going to drop water. The water is going to get to this here. And immediately it's going to go bush into steam. And start triggering these. Now we don't want too much water in here. Or too much steam pressure. Because of the, the actual heat itself. We also need 
the insulated pipes because these do indeed let off water. I think it's at about 90 degrees if I'm not mistaken. That's Did I just use a power cable? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. There we go. Liquid pipe. So these actually cool the steam down, of course. That's how they work. Um, and then the steam turns into water. The water then will go on here and then drip back into this room. Now everybody's asleep at the minute, so we'll just give them a bit of a break. While I find the heavy watt wire again. Uh, this one... And I am really going to have to get into that insulated stuff, conductive and insulated stuff at some point. But Okay, so obviously the heavy watt wire can't go in the floors, but it can go like that. And we basically want to just get it into the mains like that. The idea being then that any power that that generates goes into this cable, which goes into this, and then feeds the base. Of course, we've got an issue here with that nobody can actually reach any of that, so I'll just do that. That needs to connect in there, but we're not we're not ready yet. So it don't matter, not a problem. We can carry on as we are. Okay. So this is built. We need now to make sure that these don't overheat. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. Uh, I'm not sure which is the the best per se, but it might actually be this. So let's try and do it. A really cheeky way which is using science to help us it may not work but it may so we'll see right so I got rid of all that and I'm gonna try and make use of the fact that whatever's coming out is cooler than what's coming in therefore that energy can be used to cool its original thing down so with some radiant pipes I am then going to do something like that and then of course insulated insulated all the way along here and drop so the water or the, the, the yeah the water that's going to come out that's converted from steam to liquid is going to come out of here it's then going to use this and drop that heat or take the heat away from the machine and in turn then drop it. It may or may not work. We're going to have to play with this. Of course, I could quite easily go on the internet. You can find a setup that's perfect, that's block for block. But I don't like doing that. I like to make it up as my own so it's different every time. I have had one before that worked perfectly and I have stole them off the internet before off, off YouTube tutorials and stuff. But I'm just kind of not making it up as I go along. I'm using the sort of the science behind it, but it's just, a, it's just an experiment to see how much it is. I mean, there is obviously a huge problem with this. I'm already seeing that is that the steam coming from this is going to be a lot hotter than I need it to be. For maximum efficiency for a steam turbine, which is 800 watts, the steam only needs to be 200 degrees. Well, the steam's going to be much higher than 200 degrees. Because what it's mixing with is 1600 degrees. So there's that. Uh, on that note, I think we can cap this off. I don't yet can't think of anything that I want to do in terms of calling this down any other way. Um, I could potentially make the center open and then have one like a, a steam turbine there a steam turbine there and then stack them either side um, that would work because the amount of pressure is going to be quite reasonable right no power consumers generator idle no power wire connected oh yeah i didn't um where is it gone 
heavy watt wire and then which one we don't want thermally reactive one of these sod it we'll go with that one 850 watts not sorry not 800 um, right, so then let me just get up the power cable, the normal power cables, and let's just clean up this here. It's not needed. Either is that, and neither is that and that. Because what we're then going to do is chuck in a bridge straight away that's going to go just there and allow that cable to go straight through. Do we not have enough beds? Why are you sleeping there? Beds, 23. Really? That is... I am an idiot. Okay. Um, there's some extra beds. Knock yourselves out. And there's some extra... Whoops, that's not how a bed goes. Um, there we go. And then we'll put some ornaments in, or some statues, just to make it a bit prettier. And now we've got plenty of beds, right? Because each one of them is a bunk bed. So, two, four, six, and all there, and another four there. Yeah, plenty. Right, you need uprooting, because you're not even supposed to be there. I must have missed them. They're all doing fine, which is good. Our farm's great. We've got half a million calories, so... Back down here. So, again, as soon as we put steam in here, I expect that this ladder is going to evaporate in melting point. Yeah, the ladder melts at 900 degrees. We'll see. But also, actually, uh, will the steam heat up this and turn it into steam? Maybe. Insulated self sealing airlock. I can try and just make it extra safe, right? 200 degrees extra. And what's this one? Yeah, I'll use the steel. I think it's going to be worth it. The steel, steel is the best uh, metal resource that we've got at the minute in terms of re hiding from the heat. They just walked all the way here. It went to break time, so they just dropped the steel in the water. How useless is that? But as you can see, they can stand in there holding breath. So we've now got this. Current state is auto. That's fine. Its melting level is what? Melting point is 2,500 degrees. That won't melt. That is fine. So that's going to stop this water, hopefully, from heating up. Because as I, as I mentioned, it with the vacuum it's okay but as soon as I put water in here all of this including what would have been here will be full of steam not now so not enough power not enough steam steam is below 20 to 100 yeah okay that's fine so we now need to finally do one last thing and that last thing is get the gas out of this room we don't want oxygen in there as I mentioned earlier we want hydrogen because hydrogen is the best gas for moving the heat out of things and stopping them from overheating. So I can be lazy and use one of these, I guess. Yes. And then put one there. I mean, it's really lazy, but it should work. Uh, and then if I just chuck you there and then a high pressure vent, actually no, just a normal low vent there. And the idea is this one is going to be renamed to this one. That's original. It's going to get deleted, so why would it matter? This one is then going to output into the one I've just said and work on all gas and maximum width. Right. Uh, maximum width. But it needs a cable, apparently, to make it work bit annoying but 
Failed to dock designate uh, just everything. Oh no, I don't want you to suck anything up actually. You're just dropping, so. So that's working now, right? I think. Are you working or not? You don't look like you're working. Output blocked. Well, you're supposed to be teleporting. Please select the target building for the teleportation. I did that. Uh, I broke them. I broke something and I don't know why. But, can I not just then... Do that. Just out of curiosity. I don't care as long as it works. While I'm playing around with that, we'll do the next bit anyway, which is this. So, a pipe here. Obviously... A high pressure vent. Why can't we build? Oh, because we're going to plastic. Never mind. We're out of plastic already. Just making three steel turbines. But plastic, something that we can get. We've got the oil. We just need to have people that don't mind getting a bit toasted at 80 degrees. So we do have now a storage system for gases, right? And I know that it's this one because it's got the pink background. So in here, we have 57 kilograms of hydrogen. That's all we have. Uh, maybe I could do some electrolysis on some water to get more of that, but that's for another day. So this is, in fact, hydrogen. And what I want to do now is... Um, wow. This is going to be messy. Until I get them bridges. I promise I'll get them for next episode. Yeah, straight down. Can't build there, so I've got to go over like that. I can build there, I think. Nearly there. And there we are. And that's where we needed to get to. And then I'll deconstruct this bit here. And then follow the pipe back up just to put in the bridges that we obviously need. For the areas that we can. So there because it's always white to green white to green and is that it looks like it to me so as soon as that's connected that hydrogen gas will come down here follow this pipe all the way down and of course I need to destroy that firstly so what's actually happening now with this gas why is that still not working seriously what is going on with this uh, you. Okay. So you what? Deconstruct that and all of that. No. That and all of that. And then gas pipes. Anything that's there. I don't... The, the ventilation side is a bit awkward because we don't actually have small pumps and obviously that won't fit so I really needed to use one of these but I don't understand why it's not working maybe that was why I'm an idiot probably maybe I don't know maybe that was why let's try that and then let's try that once more with feeling that and that oops that and that to allow for There we go. Bit of building, bit of building. Okay. So now I will rename this to this one. As we did before. I will then tell this to send everything to this one. And then we want to increase the height and the width. And everything. That's better. So now this is sucking up that huge amount of gas and throwing it up there, right? There it goes. So I'm hoping it won't take too long. This obviously doesn't need... Um, 
to suck anything up, so I'm not going to, even though it's got a warning on it, I don't care. This doesn't need a gas output because it's teleporting it to there anyway. The reason I'm not dumping it into space where I normally would is because this is oxygen. Oxygen's good, right? We don't want to chuck oxygen away. So this just needs a little bit of time now to actually get that oxygen out. You can see it was light blue. It's now getting there. It's it's deleting and deleting and deleting. On a note, I'm going to turn that off. I don't want anybody else going in that room. I'm not going to provide the steam until I'm happy with this room, i.e. this is cleared out, we've vacuumed it, and then I pump in the hydrogen. The hydrogen is just here, look. So it's stuck here because obviously it's not nowhere to go after that fact. You can see that it is in fact connected because it's all flashing. And as soon as I put a vent on here, that hydrogen would all follow. Now there's not much there at all. This is empty. We don't have much hydrogen, which isn't my favorite, but it is what it is effectively. So, let's start move on and then we can come to it afterwards. But on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm hoping it is around the time limit. Again, I forgot to use my um, timer at the correct time, but it happens the next episode is episode 30 so i am actually going to plan on doing like a bit of a larger episode for 30 probably half an hour 40 minutes something like that just as a special thing of course anybody that thinks that's too long i suppose you can watch it in two parts but i'm just trying to think of some things to do for milestones as such so thank you very much for watching if you like the video please click like any comments are welcome items or concerns please let me know if you have any ideas about anything you'd like to see or do also, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.